Hello Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Let's start your reading and see what is the collective energy for the next seven days. Cheetah. Frog. Okay, you will be required to act very quickly um you i feel that your week will be split into sort of um energetic dimensions um first part of the week will be very very rush 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 being busy 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 like like a, a wind you know um cheetah really indicates for me a fire and a speed so that will be sort of you know burning in in your belly um just you will have so much to do and then the second part, I feel it's going to be very emotional. I feel that you will be very drained, like you have given all your energy and you will feel very exhausted. Um, so these cards really, for me, indicates about a need to balance your energy, you know, what you are giving, how much you're giving, uh, focus to one thing at a time rather than trying you know to do too many things because at the end of the day you will be fa um, feeling very exhausted drained and just unable to operate you know um because it's you have given yourself at such a speed to so many people that you just have no energy for yourself so be very careful because that that sort of um, giving energy so fast, so quickly to so many people can actually flare um, some chronic illness if you are suffering from something. Um, it could be digestion, it could be a skin problems, uh, allergies, and everything will happen very quickly for you. We have the lovers. We have a king of wands. We have Queen of Pentacle and we have Seven of Cups. So these cards for me really speaks about um, a decision making, um, about your future really. There, there are two people, a King of Wands and a Queen of Pentacles that could indicate a fire sign with an earth sign. Maybe you have to make a very quick rush decisions about, uh, I would say, some monetary initiative, what you have started. Um, there were various options, uh, what to choose. You have been sort of choosing with this another person, probably I would say your romantic encounter, your partner. It could be as well business partner. And now you this week have to finalize things. Just be careful what you are, you know, signing because um, the choice that you are making, maybe you haven't really read all the small prints. So Mercury is retrograde and it will be until 22nd of June. So make sure that when you are rushing to do everything, you are not missing some small details and that the people giving you the best advice so maybe even have some sort of financial advisor if it's something to do about buying property about um investing money it's just like will require a very quick decision to make we have the empress we have the judgment we have the hanged man and we have the page of cups so you are feeling very abundant and you feeling that you have got what you have been waiting for a very, very long time. So maybe there will be a release of mortgage, a credit um, that has been sort of stuck for some time. You have been investing a lot of your energy in paperwork, you know, making sure that everything is in order. And you've just been waiting for so long that now it seems that everything comes uh, at once and it requires you to act very, very quickly, Scorpio. Um, you are in disbelief yourself how things 
quickly are moving after, you know, one sort of, uh, someone, you know, comes with the offer, says, yeah, it's all good, you know, now you just need to do this, 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 this. And you will be like, okay, so what I'm doing next? So don't lose your focus. Don't scatter your energy one thing at a time. Don't exhaust yourself because I see that financially, you are getting some sort of offer. Something is being released through the partnership, through through collaboration. It's just something that you have been investing your energy and time into, yeah, idea, collaboration, venture, buying something. The returning, the lady of the forest, the challenge, and the gift. So these cards really, for me, speaks about something that is coming back to you. So Mercury is retrograde. You have invested your time in something very challenging. Now you have to basically remember the power, the strength you have and act with integrity, um, knowing that you are different at this time. The situation has changed, even if it's brought people from the past um you will manage basically to wrap up the loose ends um if it is a piece of like i say as a, just an example a mortgage you know you are getting this mortgage it's just going to be challenging to to do so many paperwork it's just the car saying and giving assurance you can do everything just make sure that you are um, doing one thing at a time rather than, you know, 20 and moving like 100 kilometers per hour. It's just, you know, make sure that you're watching your energy. Okay. Uh, this is beautiful. Fairy guide. It's a blank card. It means you are creating a new beginning. And himself, it's so beautiful. Scorpio, uh, Sylvanius and the unity okay so it's speaking to me about a new brand new beginning so if you have got an offer uh you know to to get the funds to buy yourself a house um a car whatever it's something to do with the big purchase that has been planned for some time you're feeling so empowered by this unleashed energy um Sylvania speaks for me about resting, about, you know, making sure that you are doing those necessary steps, but also know that these events that are happening, they are happening because it's a must for you. You have reached that level in your life that universe wants to give you abundance. And the unity for me speaks that once you have done this step, you are coming into a very powerful union, first of all, with yourself, um, understanding, you know, who you are. And as well, it could mean a union with another partner. So maybe you are organizing a wedding party. Um, and after, you know, this very rushed and very stressful week, you're going to breathe easier. Uh, you will relax. And you know that this uh, steps that you have done it, you've done it for your future with, you know, maybe someone else that you are deeply in love. So I'm very happy for you, Scorpio. It's a beautiful reading and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye bye.